So I'm going into this about as blind as you could possibly be. I've never played a Baldur's Gate game. I've never even played a CRPG. And I know nothing about D&D. The most I know about it would be from something like Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and that's it. I was just never exposed to D&D &D, like growing up. Never had any like, you know, friends who played it, so it's just something that kind of passed me by. Now, this is made by Larian. La 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 Larian! But it doesn't do that when you load it up anymore, which is a shame. I have actually played a game from Larian. Divinity 2, not Divinity Original Sin 2. Divinity 2 Ego Draconis back in 2009. And... I quite liked it. It was very janky. It was very buggy. Uh, I didn't get to finish it because I ran into a game bug. But I did quite like it. I like those Euro jank RPG games. But my word, uh, Larian has had a bit of a glow up in the last few years, making Original Sin and now getting the Baldur's Gate license. It's insane. This game had like 600,000 concurrent players on Steam. It's just come out of early access, but it's been in early access for about three years. People are going apeshit for it. People are saying it's the second coming of CRPGs. And uh, yeah, so I kind of had a little bit of FOMO, I guess. I mean, I wanted to check it out. I was hoping I'd be able to like play Divinity Original Sin first to kind of you know, dip my toes into the CRPG genre, genre, but didn't have the time, didn't have the chance. I was hoping it would go on sale before this came out. It didn't. Um, so, this could be a very interesting experience. Uh, it could go terribly. It's a very, seems like a very hardcore game, and uh, I'm probably going to be terrible at it and very confused and not understand anything. I don't even know if I'm going to like it, so I guess let's start a new game. Explorer, Balanced, Tactician. A tough campaign emphasizing strategic combat. Balanced. Let's go with Balanced. I'm guessing you can change it if I need to at different points in the game. Oh, allow access. Why can't Windows Security Alert come up? before I've started the game. <laughs> Dragonborn. So it's quite Cthulhu-esque here. At the start, it's very weird. Being birthed out of alien pods, or we've been trapped with prisoners. Does it have anything to do with the previous Baldur's Gate games? Does it continue the story on? You would imagine they've made it, you know, for newcomers to the series because I was one years old when the first game came out. So it's not my fault I didn't play it. Not my fault. Just far too young. Oh, yikes. Is that a parasite going into the brain? So it's a mind flayer, like from Demon Souls. Give us a kiss. Okay. Enable tutorials. Yes. Who are you? Who, who are you? So this game has absolutely, like, insane graphics for a Larian game. If you look at Divinity Original Sin 2, the faces are just on a whole another level. I don't know how it's going to run 
of OBS um, seems quite demanding. Holy moly. Uh, very demanding. Jesus. So we might need to, like, turn the graphics down. Uh, can I do that? Uh, refresh rates. That's wrong. That's my refresh rate. Uh, it's only got FSR 1, which is not great. It needs FSR 2, really. Um, quarter. Circular. Depth of field. I'm someone who likes depth of field to be off. Why would you want to blur the screen and blur the pretty graphics? It's got a very, very good options menu. You know, showing you what all the options do. Um, okay. It auto detected to like the highest possible settings. Maybe it runs better in the game. Maybe because we're so close to the camera. To the camera? To the character. It's like a, struggling a little bit. Uh, right. I know fucking nothing about D&D &D character creation. Um, so we got origin characters like Divinity Original Sin. And in Original Sin... It's best to pick an origin character because you get all like the cool like backstory for your character and different NPCs treat you differently. I'm not sure if that's the same in this. I'm not sure if there's a, a downside to making your own character. Hello, Nina. Um body type. We're gonna be a bloke or we're gonna be a lady. High elf. Barbarian. I like being tall for some reason in games. Randomize. Origin, custom. So these are like, so you can play as like the main characters? Really? I'm not sure how much I'm going to play of this. I'm just kind of checking it out for a little bit. Race, elf. Tifling. Oh, like a demon, drow, purple man, human. I like to play as humans in like fantasy worlds as if it's like me experiencing all of the weird other races and stuff. Oh, wow, very thin boy. Dwarf. Half elf. Halfling. Gnome. Dragonborn. <laughs> oh, it's like a... Argonian. Half orc. Uh. Yeah, so they do have racial bonuses. Can move 7.5 meters per turn. Known cunning. You have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Saving throws. So different races can move further. So the shorter races can't move very far because they got short legs, I guess. Seems to be only like two differences. 7.5 and 9. I thought I might go with the human. Big, tall human. Okay. Class, barbarian, bard. You know music is more than a fancy. It is power. Through study and adventure, you have mastered song, speech, and magic within. I feel like I want to be a spellcaster. Uh, there's a lot of classes. Like a wizard. Sorcerer. Magic Missile. Mage Armor. Fog Cloud. Can I be like a... Oh, maybe a Paladin. I do like... Or, or maybe a Cleric. Which one do I like the most? A guy who uses like holy spells? Cleric, I guess. Maybe. 
Shield of Faith. Actions. Hmm, well, maybe a cleric then. Like a mace and a shield. Uses like lightning spears and buffs people, maybe? I like, or like buffing my own stuff. Bane. What does cantrips mean? Sacred flame. Guidance. Level 1 spell slots unlocked. I've got a flipping clue. Can only certain races be certain classes? Like in like World of Warcraft. No, I think you're free to be anything. Anything you want. Maybe like a, a paladin or a cleric orc. What's the difference between a paladin and a cleric? I have no idea. Or like a paladin dwarf. Cleric dwarf. <laughs> uh, subclasses. Some have got sub... No, they've all got subclasses. Sub race. Gold dwarf. I don't know, if, I feel like being a human, it's kind of boring, isn't it, don't you think? It's a bit boring. Who's got a lot of charisma? The bard. And a sorcerer. Oh, it's either going to be... I don't know. I like to rain down magic from afar. This could be a game where I, like, restart it, like, over and over again. Just trying different characters until I find the one I like. Natural spellcasters. And it's got a lot of charisma as well. Maybe I go with the sorcerer? Available. I can change what I've got. Wow. Minor Illusion, Ray of Frost, Mage Hand. Can I go with Default, please? Let's go with Default for now. How do I customize my appearance? Here we go. Uh, voice. Hear voice. Where to next? <laughs> Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. This... It's open. More of those wretched things. I want to be a, 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 a gilf. <laughs> There's magic keeping this chest Like seat. an old sorcerer. I can feel its gilf. aura. Where to next? None Let's of these voices the sound very friendly. old. Health. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? There's health. Be wary. This place is trapped. Uh, warm tone. I mean, who am I making here? Am I making me? Am I making... I don't know. What do people do when they play D&D? Do they make themselves to put themselves... Like, imagine if it was them in the fantasy world, or do they just make something completely different from themselves? Maturity. Freckle quantity. Genitals. Right, so there's been loads of Twitch clips of people clicking that and seeing dicks and stuff. Yep. It's a penis, all right. It's just a penis. It's just a penis. Calm down. <laughs> We've all got one. Everyone. Everyone's got one. Uh, default genitals. Penis B. Penis C. Am I gonna see the penis <laughs> in the actual gameplay? I don't know. I don't really care what it looks like. Penises are ugly anyway. They're very ugly. 
I think someone was playing a trick. Uh, body art. Yeah. I don't actually look that old, though, really, do I? Boom, 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 boom. River Shaman. I look like I'm about 35. I don't look particularly old. Uh, black, brown, grey. It's more white. Highlights. Look more like an elf from Lord of the Rings. Not a big fan of any of these hairstyles, really. They all look a bit weird. Or is it my face making it look weird? I want to look older. <laughs> What's this? So you can't, like, individually like move certain parts of their face I don't think what's this I have no idea what's wrong with your face okay let's go facial hair that might help complete the image I got purple in my hair why? <laughs> Why have I got purple in my beard? I think this is what I want to be in a fantasy world. A hermit. Someone, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'd still be me, even in a fantasy world. Leave me alone! How do I sound? It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I don't like the voice. Next? It'd be good if I could, like, speak a few lines into the microphone and it kind of generated a voice. That'd be good. Hmm. What was Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hey. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's more of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hmm, I don't Be like wary. any of these. This, it's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Be wary. This, it's opened. I want a more mature voice. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. I'm Sean Bean. Be wary. This place is trapped. 
It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Let's go with that one. Uh, okay, thank you. Oh, my God. I thought there'd be... I honestly thought there'd be more, unless I'm missing something. Like an advanced bit. Uh, background Acolyte. You have spent your life in service to a temple. What about someone who <laughs> just lives on their own? Sage, you are curious and well-read. With an unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare law of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Soldier, you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat. Urchin, Outlander. You grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. What about entertainer? Okay. What about somebody just stays on their own <laughs> a criminal I guess an outlander maybe survival stay alive in the wilds plus two stay fit perform physical stunts helps you shove and resist being shoved it's not great for a sorcerer who'd like want to stay back steal stuff Recognize magic, interact with enchanted things. That makes sense for a sorcerer. History. Lie and cheat, manipulate the truth. Okay, let's go with sage then, for arcana. Abilities. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh. I feel like that's maybe a bit too much charisma. 15. Constitution. Is that for health? For saving throws. Constitution checks. Roll for initiative. And wisdom. Uh, okay. Intelligence. Spellcasting for wizards. Spellcasting for bards, paladins, and sorcerers. Why would charisma change your spell casting? Okay. Oh. It uses two ability points to upgrade it. Weird. Okay, let's go with recommended then. Are we good with this? Are we good with this? Are we good with this? I don't know how I feel about it. Just doesn't look. I, I'm kind of sad. I I can't make him look older. I want to be like seventy years old. I made Jesus, but Jesus doesn't exist, <laughs> so I didn't. Jesus, Jesus isn't. And if Jesus was real, he wouldn't be white, <laughs> and he doesn't have grey hair. <laughs> he died before he got old. Oh, eye colour. Oh, yeah, so you can have two different eye colour. <laughs> then I made God. Fair enough. But if... If God... If Jesus was Middle Eastern, does that mean God was Middle Eastern as well? <laughs> But I'm going to be like an atheist in this game. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, okay. Go. Proceed. Tav. Character name. Hoff. Hoffin. Hoff. Hoffness. Hoff. Hoff. It's got to be d and ified Hoff. Hoffness. <laughs> Hoff. Hoffington? That sounds more like a, a place. Uh, Hoff. 
Hofmeister. <laughs> I don't even know how you spell Meister. Let's have a look quickly. How do you spell Meister? Down, down, down. Meister. Is that right? M E I uh, M E I S T A R. Is that right? Meister Home is coming up with. Meister Global. I don't think Meister's a real word. I think it's just made up. Well, all words are made up. Meister Meaning. Donating a person skilled or prominent in a specified area of activity. Funk Meister is the example on Google. Okay, so Hoff, Hoff, Hoffmeister. No, it's spelled it wrong. There's an E in it. No. Go. I beg your pardon? <laughs> There's more. Oh, no. <laughs> um, you need a guardian, choose one. And now the game is running a lot better in this bit. That character creation screen was really demanding. Uh, Tifling, human, dwarf. I feel like you want a dwarf companion. Lady dwarf or male dwarf? I thought dwarves were like gender neutral. I thought dwarves were just dwarves. There's no female dwarves. There's no male dwarves. They're just dwarves. Sub race. Oh my god, I can completely customize these guys. Gold dwarf. These dwarves are known for their confidence and keen intuition. The culture of their deep kingdom values, family, ritual, and fine craftsmanship. Cynical mindset. I I'm the one that's cynical. I can't have two people that are cynical. Once enslaved. Let's go with the gold dwarf. General. Remarkable. Follow your instinct. Good luck. You need a Scottish. Follow your instinct. You need. They need to be Good Scottish. <laughs> Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, my dear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Remarkable. True. Good. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. Remarkable. You want someone who's not, who's gonna tell Truth. it to you straight, Good but luck. also is a laugh. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. I actually kind of like the like the fault appearance of this guy.
piercing styles. Fastened stars. Lapis stud muffin. I beg your pardon. You can even be a, a lady or a man. There's no big dwarves. There's no little dwarves. Midnight tears. Hazelnut. Hazel eyes. I've never seen eyes as hazel -er as hers. Lip tint. Hair. I like the hair. Looks good. Look at that hair. Facial hair. I like it. Okay. Venture forth. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Oh, shit, there's a dead one. A dead Cthulhu. Two dead Cthulhu's. The Cthulhu's are like Lovecraftian. I guess Dungeons and Dragons kind of encapsulates everything. Even like Lovecraft stuff. I've never played a Lovecraft game or know anything about Lovecraft. Why is it called Lovecraft? Bing bong! It's like Game of Thrones. It's like the last season of Game of Thrones. But instead of a dragon, it's this. Oh shit, they're just being evaporated like War of the Worlds. Oh shit, they're being teleported. The chances of anything coming from Mars. You're going to need a lot of capsules. This is not what I expected. It feels a bit more sci-fi. In a way. Like alien-esque. Like H.I. Geiger. Eager. But the ship is actually alive. It's like sentient. So we escaped from this ship, I guess. Oh, whoa. Yeah. The whole ship is made of flesh. Don't burn us. Activate the p what? <laughs> what the fuck? down. So he does, puts those two things together, clings it back like a rubber band or something, and it teleports them. <laughs> How does that work? It's got a very, um, I don't know, like, Blizzard-esque vibe to the CGI cutscene. 
There might be the Elder Scrolls online. Holding left control allows you to destroy mundane items, I think it said. You can lock your hotbar. Hmm, so there's no there's no version number in the cutscenes, but you still got this thing over here over here. It's me. Very sci-fi. Auto save successful. How's it running? Not very well. Why is it running so badly? I thought this would run fine. Auto detect. It puts it on ultra. It thinks I should be running on ultra. That can't be right. Low. 1860. It looks awful though. <laughs> it's gonna be like one setting Might causing it to die. I've got the rec I've got literally the exact recommended specs for this game. I have the latest drivers, yeah. There is no there is no new driver yet. The the last driver was the twentieth of June. Let's just try the just try the game. <laughs> See what the game is like. So, we're in Cthulhu ship land. Mind flayer pod. Not getting back in that thing. Why not? It's the animus. Use Hoffmeister. Not getting back, not in, getting that back in that thing. So we've got this bar down here. Jump. Hide, throw, dash, disengage, topple, dip, shove, improvised melee weapon, help, main hand attack. So I can do it outside of combat. Whee! That's cool. Interesting. Someone else got out. Somebody else got out. Light on my feet. The controls are very weird. <laughs> Dead. The controls actually feel quite heavy. Dead. Controlling him Good. It was quite heavy. Might be other survivors. Nursery. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Ah. Reach towards the pool. Investigate the pool. Skill check. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this roll. But it's just luck. Right? It's just luck. Roll for initiative. <laughs> um... Intelligence, investigation, proficiency, add bonus. Advantage. Tides of chaos. Okay. So what, I rolled two dices? What the hell? Does that only work once? I got a tw 20. I, got a I rolled a 20. Critical success! The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Mm -hmm. Reach towards the pool. <laughs> I'm still gonna try stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> Amazing. This is, this is a game where you just mess around with everything and see what it does. So weird, the game is pretty, um... You can't click everywhere, really, to move. It's a bit... It's a little bit awkward to move your character. Better not be cursed. Because I have played a tiny bit of Fallout 1. Uh... Magic Missile. That. Do it. <laughs> Try to keep up. Until the end of your next turn, you gain a bonus action. Oh god. What's happening? What's two of eight mean? At least things have stayed interesting. Lost condition. 
Odd magic teleport. Common. Okay, so this just shows all of my items. Well, that shows everything. I love how you can fuck with everything. That's what made, like, Fallout so good. Let's have a look. And Fallout 2. And what Fallout 3 was kind of missing, but Fallout New Vegas had again. You could just fuck with everything. And just mess around, and the game would let you do stuff. Okay, this is this is weird though. This how do you rotate the camera? There we go. This is so weird. It's like a bloody RTS. I'm not sure how I like it. I feel a bit disconnected from my character. I feel like I am God. God God. Rune slate. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. More for me. More for me? I'll just take that. What is this? Is that another chest? It's quite dark in here, it's quite hard to see. So can I just jump down? It's weird because it's got like the freedom of a regular RPG, but you control your character very oddly. Yes, close at hand. Oh, so I've only got eight health points. <laughs> oh my god. This is so weird. It's just so it's like a completely different kind of I'm dead. <laughs> I died in the fucking opening room. Load game. Load game. It didn't save. Oh no. When it said the nursery would crumble, I didn't think explode. I thought, oh, it'll, you know, it'll just fall, fall apart. Not explode. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's try this again. See if I get the same. Seventeen. Success. Critical success. Critical roll. What's the success? The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause. I was given crumble. fucking dodgy information there. Crumble, not explode. What? <laughs> what? It moved out of the way. How did it move out of the way? What's happening? This game is fucking with me. Uh, so the, yeah, it's weird the camera is independent of your character. I can be like, click that and it'll be like, I'm gonna go over there. Okay. I feel like this might be an Elden Ring situation where people play it and are like, what the fuck is this? Because <laughs> they just see that loads of people are playing it and they decide to buy it. So don't jump because I'll lose some health. Restoration? Oh, it's a healing thing, I guess. Nice. I feel better. I feel better. A sphincter. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, lovely. It's like scorn. It's, it's, it's very... I've got, I'm going to have to get used to, like, you know, not staying with my character. Something good here. Goblin. of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. A vicious chair. We are trapped. Help us! So F5, does that quick save? Yes. Good. Neut neural apparatus. Oh, it's an elevator. Help us! Help us! We want to live! I should speak up. 
want to live. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Perception succeeded. Please. Before they return. I do like, I'm a big they fan return. of like spell checks or skill checks, spell checks, skill checks, <laughs> speech checks. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Inspect the exposed brain. Oh, God. <laughs> Add a bonus. Oh no, that's such a terrible roll. Four. Up to a seven. Failure. Oh Apart no. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Apart from it's exposed and talking to me. Gently praise, prize the brain from the skull. My dexterity is higher than my strength, I think. Another roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 14 plus 1, 15. That's good. Success. The brain lifts from the skull. It's connected. Do you notice an opportunity? No, it's not. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Well, if it is a threat, we can just kill it. Spare the creature. Any injuries might weaken it. What the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus! Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. What the fuck? We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Us. What's at the helm? What should I call you? Attack brain. Us. We are us. We are us. What, you are one mind collective? What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. We, as in us. All right, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. I made a friend already. Yay! Follow us. I made a friend. I'm happy. Very dark. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. You have to be. I guess it cools the elevator up. Can you follow? Will you follow? Will you teleport to me? I don't know how it works in this. It just goes down the ladder. Ladder? Stairs. What? Well, we're, we're actually moving. Yes. Holy moly. This is so weird. It's you. Orc. Abomination. This is your end. I beg your pardon. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. 
visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. We are one <gasps> mind connected. What is this? Squall, you are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Uh, what made you think I was a fool? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. We are turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. Oh God, here we go. Get their imps, okay. The helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Yay. I hadn't finished talking. Attacker? A cool mad attacker. What a wonderful phrase. Oh, Jesus. Initiative! Oh, God. Your turn. Tutorial, please. Where's the tutorial? <laughs> I need. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm currently controlling the imp. How do I change to a different character? Can't even catch my breath. Like that. So the imp has... Oh, the us has a lot of health. 21. Uh... Okay, well that attack, 90% chance, like XCOM, dead, not enough movement. Uh, is there a quick way of changing between the characters? Other than clicking that over here. To keep going. Okay, I'm going to click on her, make her attack this one. Then I'm going to take another you. fight. Let's go. Magic missile. Move here. Have to keep going. And attack that one. Double click. Boosh! Did it. Wild magic surge. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. To the helm. Okay. I did good. They have loot. They've got loot. Take all of the loot. Potion of speed. Void bulb. Light crossbow. It does feel like you're playing the closest um, comparison I can make for me is playing Dragon Age, but only in like the tactical view. It's not a chest. A cradle. What? <laughs> Why have I just gone and lied in it? Laid in it. So the game doesn't auto save very often, does it? Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. We must leave. I must stay. I must stay. I must leave. Let's see what this does. Oh, there you go. Auto save successful. Sacrificed cultist. Istic, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. <laughs> what do you mean? I would never touch anything without purpose. Combat, get ready to fight. What 
What's up for discussion? The man isn't dead. <laughs> oh dear. But he's totally unresponsive. Trapped. Why well, should kill him then? Take him out of it. Well, or maybe not. Wild magic surge. Push. Don't push the buttons. Push the red buttons. Dark mind. Don't mind if I do. I picked it up. A jar. Uh, oh, are there brains in jars then? Locked. You need thieves' tools to pick a lock. Or you can find the key. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries Hello? of darkness. That friend? How'd you... Hello? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, hello. We have no time for stragglers. That's nice, isn't it? There's magic at work. Determine what kind. Need a seven or higher. Nineteen! Success! Warding runes. You feel them drawing energy from the console. Stanley went through the left door. Are you satisfied? We need to go. So what does that do? Look for a hatch that might open the lid. This thing's magically linked to that console. Let me see what I can do. Hurry! Please! This one. Touch. You sure about that? The console appears dormant. Inscribed the device with glyphs you sensed from the pod's warding runes. The console hums to life. Take a closer look at the powered up console. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Failed. Failure. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Reroll. Place your hand on console. Wisdom, will the pod open? Illifid. Nine. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Yay! She okay? She alive? Shadow Heart. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank it's weird having the narrator narrate everything. It's like Max Payne. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. A gift. Dangerous company. It's racist. Got a problem with GIF Yankee? <laughs> what? Mm. More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Alright then, let's go. I'm Hofmeister. Did you feel what I felt before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? All right then, let's get going. Shadowheart. One moment. Your name is stupider than mine. <laughs> so it's a dice, a die. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. I don't trust you. This chatter. We need to get to the helm now. How do we help She's these right. people? Lead on. Look, I spent enough time fucking around. We can help other people. 
No, I didn't want to talk to you. The man isn't dead, but he's totally... No, I can't do anything with the brain. Can I look at the brain? Dark mind. A humanoid brain alive and in perfect condition. Suspended in cerebral spiny spiny spinal fluid. It's the, the 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 font is a bit small, isn't it? I've not been this way. Okay, that's Hello? The host of this gay infected Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. I put my milk in my cereal. The milk has gone off. I didn't realize. It's all lumpy. Another brain. Now my cereal's ruined. And I've got no more cereal. Fuck. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Really? Eldritch Ruin. Rune. I'm just gonna save scum, like everything. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. To change? What do you mean change? Oh no. What have we done? No! I thought it would open the fucking... I thought, oh, I thought we had the thing that would help. Ah! Oh no, they're turning into a mind flayer. They got the bells. Ding, ling, ling. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. Purified. This may be our fate. We need to get out of here before it could mean anything. Oh shit! Maybe I should have, but I didn't see that. The problem is if I like reload. I just want to see, for example, what happens. I I want to see how different things can be in a, in a game like this. Could mean anything. Well, that no, still failed. Can I examine it? Inspect. Oh, no. No. If not over. Then through. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pot. Maybe it meant the, the the ones over here. A gold key. Oh, oh, oh. oh God! This one. Open it. Yes. Onyx. She was as black as Onyx. Let's have a look. Don't push it. Unleash. Unleash. Aggression. Aggression. Annihilate. Unleash. Unleash sounds like let them go. Let's have a look. Bionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. How do I put their Seems brains like back in? To talk. Man isn't dead. I've got their brains. Light flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Hmm. Annihilate. Well, that probably means self-destruct. Um... I think leaving them is probably the worst thing you could do. I 
I'd rather kill them, put them out their misery. You know what I mean? What's hiding here? Could mean anything. Okay. Let's do it again. Make sure As you place your change. Do we have to fight her? We need to get out of here before it's. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Have we opened the bloody door? Maybe unleash would work on that. I think it can be kind of hard to tell what you can interact with. You don't realise what you can interact with. Oh, if I press it again, nothing happens. Doesn't really feel like I can save these guys. Bye. Boxes. Chasm. Is that where we came from? That's where we came from. This way. It's got like the fog of war. You can't see what's in there until you've actually been in there with the character. Mind flayer horticulture. Don't step in the fire. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? You look like you got your armor from a fucking Kenya. coconut stall. <laughs> Hello, it's the devil. Not his horns, no! So it's like a freeway fight. The imps fight us, but they also fight the mind flayers. Oh, they think I'm on their side. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Connect the nerves. We will connect them. Oh, oh God. Get out of here. Now. Your turn. So, uh... How do I have only a 55% chance of hitting? <laughs> Victory awaits. 75% chance. Lacerate. Two turns. What does that mean? It works on them for two turns. You bow. Or you break. Uh, I missed. Now, bollocks. Pommel strike. Dazed. Still breathing, despite everything. Swift and lethal. Lesser imp. Bonk. Jump. I can move there. And can I jump? No, I can't jump. Can't give up. Don't miss, for fuck's sake. What did I say? What did I say? I said don't miss. Do it on myself. Oh, she's burning. She's not in the fire. Come on now. Victory awaits. Magic missile. Bonk, bonk. 
do I end the turn, I guess? Oh, I can do something else, apparently. 15 turns remaining. Acid splash. Bone chill. True strike. Whoa. Nice. End turn. End turn. Oh, I'm ending it for all of them. Right. You gotta end it one by one. Oh, don't you know, bro? You missed. My turn again already. Mysterious liquid. Very well. Mysterious liquid. So I can't use this yet. Recharge once per long rest. Topple. Main hand attack. I could do more acid, but it might. Does it? Is there friendly fire? I'm a bit worried about friendly fire. How do I do that? Does that work? Not replenishing it. <laughs> Bonus action. Replenish. Fuck is happening? Hand trips. How do I? How do I go back? How do I? How do I? How do I stop? There we go. Bonus action. My defense threatened. Next attack. Help. Light. Bone chill. Or it's going to hit him. Saved. Acid splash. You motherfucker. I am fury. I am death. I'm not low on hit points. No time to waste. I'm fine. Ranged attack. I've got a bow. Okay. Can I loot in combat? What's the plan? Yes. On I go. Fire bolt. <laughs> Miss. It literally. He literally went Ugh, as it hit him. Kill you. Enter. Where do I go from here? Leave him to me. Oh, okay. Can you jump on their heads like a Marion Rabbits to get them further? <laughs> The Rayman DLC's out soon, actually. I am fury. They just kind of announced it without any kerfuffle at all. Need to stay focused. Have to keep going. Where is it? It's over here. Is that it? There it is. Blood comes easy these days. If this shit hits the ground, we're dead. Throw a character or an item. Maybe I can throw them a bit further. One day I'll catch a break. So my main attack is a whack with my staff, which seems weird. Oh, 
Only one damage. I am fury. I am death. I am got to concentrate. Angry. On my way. Too heavy to throw. Not enough. Oh, I can throw the imp though. Uh. Well, so much for peace. I'm not close enough. I've got no movement. Uh, can I move you a bit closer? No. Let's end this. End turn. I guess I can click them on them up here as well. Yeah. Um. Nothing will stand in my way. Too he oh, they're all too heavy to throw. No, oh, that's a shame. Time to strike. Maybe you're strong enough. Are you strong enough? Is that a throw? Hide. Throw. Disadvantage. Oh, look at this. I can then throw him, like, all the way over here. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? This game is batshit. Um, to me. Bleed for me. He's like, help! I'm falling over and I can't get up! It's like, knocked unconscious. Help! 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 I'm like a turtle. A tortoise, please. Knock me, pick me up. Roll me over. I won't give in. Can't slow down. So why can't I use magic missile anymore? And how do I do this? Use to cast spells. Recharge once per long rest. Once per turn. Saved. Saved fail. Ooh. Time to strike. Second wind. Can't do nothing. Got to focus. Can you do anything? No. End turn. Survival is all that matters. Ow. Not us. Don't kill us. Swipe a creature to knock it in prone. First step is the hardest. You can't fucking miss that right there. Come on now. Pause. Oh, it's got a thing where it can attack back after you've attacked it. Enough movement. Firebolt. Victory awaits. It's weird how it doesn't really feel like there's been a tutorial. Like at all. Sometimes the only way out is through. I feel like I've been left to figure it out on my own. Oh, are we close enough? What the fuck? Who are these guys? They're coming off from the side. Come a little are these the guys that... Did these guys ch change? No. Because they're like demon enemies. I did it. Yes! Transponder. You've made it in time.
Star Trekking across the universe. Shaking my tail feather. Let me crash land into Mordor. Where's Lord of the Rings set, actually? What's the place called in Lord of the Rings? The world? I have no idea. Middle Earth. <laughs> I remembered. I thought it was Bottom Earth for a second. Yep, it's crashed. I knew it. In Middle Earth. Delayed reaction? No? Hello. <laughs> Maybe he'll be friends. Did he do that? My beard is like rolled up. <laughs> what the fuck? As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Check yourself for injuries. Orientate yourself. Where did you land? The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. So the narrator is supposed to be like the D&D &D master, maybe. Go to your personal chest in camp during a long rest to find some of your unique DLC items. Really? I don't have any DLC. Well, what a... What a sh weird game. Uh... <laughs> Strange game. Very funny because it lets you just stumble into shit and like a slapstick comedy. Um, and I, it's very, very engaging. There's so much to think about all the time. Um, doesn't really seem like there's ever a, a dull moment. Uh, I think I might wait until, like, there's some AMD drivers for it. Um, I just wanted to check it out. Am I going to keep it? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because I, I love the interactability and how many, like, skill checks there are. I love that kind of stuff. Um, just being able to fuck around with stuff and the game recognizing your, like choices I love that because a lot of games you play and it's like you try to do something and the developers didn't think people would do that so it doesn't recognize it as a valid option whereas a game like this recognizes what you're doing as a valid option uh, which I really like um, it's definitely weird for me to get you know used to the controls and uh, Yeah, it's definitely weird. Very, very weird. It's like an RTS, I guess. Or, or, or a MOBA, probably the best way to describe how it controls. Um, like, I've just never played a game like this with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, 
so it's like learning a, an entirely new game genre but I think I'm gonna leave it there for now for this game just some food for thought so to speak uh, and we're gonna go back on uh, Diablo Diablo 4